Hey everybody, Brooke Clover Aching here today with another Popolo picking and packing a Lego order. And I will do this for eBay orders and for Click orders and any other kind of orders I get. And this one is for eBay. So I have all the order details right here. It was a one seasonal bag, one seasonal poly bag, and I have their address shit. I had it all cut out and stuff, and then I have their, this is their invoice and this is mine for my record. So I don't really need that, so I'll put it to the side. So now I'm going to pack my order. So because I still haven't found a place to put this bin yet, it's just under this, my bin to take orders to the post office. Look at that, the poly bag I'm sending them is right on top, the Christmas train, the seasonal poly bag. Mm -hmm. Getting down on my poly bags. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off the tripod for a quick second. And I'm just going to go all the way over here. Oh, I have to press the screen again. I'm going to get a bu bubble mailer. Then I'm going to put it back in the tripod. Some people always ask where do I store my bubble mailer, and that's underneath my table. And then of course I'm going to open my drawer up. Thank you order note. Order ID card. Here's what the thank you order note looks like, and it comes with my QR codes. Tape. And then I'm going to need this pen. And that should be it. So oh, look, put that to here. Let's move all this junk out of the way. Now I'm going to try to flatten the poly bag out as much as I can because they don't fit in these bubble mailers without just bending it a little bit. And as flat as I can because I want to keep the shipping cost as minimum as possible. Adjust it, flatten it, and I'm gonna ship my order for my own thank you order note and my business card in. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over here and I'm just going to grab this, this, and this is how I estimate orders. And if it goes through that, which it has to, that means it ships as a oversized package. And it does, so I'll put that back later. So that means it fits as an oversized package. That's good. And, oh, I for, almost forgot to include their little invoice. And if the shipping is going to, is, if the shipping is just borderline, will it fit through the slot? And they have a, because for big orders a lot of times they have, must have a big invoice. So I always, if it's borderline, I'll just not include it and I'll tell them that. Like, I'm sorry, but it's going to put your shipping up because I don't pay their shipping. They pay their own shipping, so I figure they want to keep it as minimum as possible. So now, so, just gotta, I like to keep making sure that this fits through. So that was a little one that's a little tight, so if you just kind of just squeeze it up, shape it a bit. Doing this all without damaging the content. There, it fits really perfectly. So now what I want to do is get I need my order base again because I didn't bother turning on my computer. Don't really need it. But I'm gonna link there. You there uh, PayPal name. Under the order ID, order number. I have to change all this to fit my eBay now because this is, I had done this all for Bricklink, but now I need to adjust it all for eBay. So now I have their order thing written down, so I'm going to use my tape. And I know I didn't do this in the last video, but that was because I had forgotten to print order 
invoice I didn't want it. And I was just just didn't do it. End of story. So one little piece of paper, so I okay. have to move the camera to get into my drawer, to get my scissors, to get the glove, and take this overhang. So now that is there, that's glued on the package, and I like to do this because I don't want to short the buyers on the shipping, and I don't want to charge them less or more than it needs to be. So now that I know, I'm going to peel this off. Make sure it's all glued back on. I'm going to take their address. I'm going to zoom all the way out. And now, you can't see it. So. I just, I, I'm not getting any blurring of lines in this, so I'll just zoom it out so you guys can't see. And there you go. We have the package all picked and packed. Picking and packing a Lego order. This buyer just ordered this on late Sunday night. And it's Tuesday morning now. I was away all Sunday night and Monday. But they have paid and their package is ready to ship. Fits through perfectly. So that can go in my orders to be shipped box. Thank you for watching this video by Brickover18, another Popolo. As you can see, I have two orders in this box and because I did another Popolo. So if you want to go just check that out, the link will be in the description below to Popolo number one. Thank you for watching this video by Brickover18 and if you like these kind of videos, let me know and I'll do more. And of course, if you want one, let me know and let me know and order when you order, I will do one. Thank you for watching this video by Brooklyn18. Have a great day.